live at Roseland, elements of four, of four, or a four. Live at Roseland, elements of four, is a video album by American recording artist Beyoncé. It was released on November 21, 2011, through Parkwood Entertainment and Columbia Records. The album features a concert film, which was filmed during Beyoncé's Four Intimate Nights with Beyoncé Review, held at the Roseland Ballroom in New York City between August 14, 19, 2011. It was directed by Beyoncé, Ed Burke, and Anthony Green, and was executively produced by Beyoncé. The DVD was filmed during her Four Intimate Nights with Beyoncé Review, which was held at the Roseland Ballroom in New York City in August 2011. Sony Music Entertainment and Columbia Records promoted live at Roseland, elements of four by holding screenings of the film. The album was also promoted by posting teasers and live performances of some songs. Seven music videos which were placed on the album were also released prior to its official release. The complete concert film premiered exclusively on Vivo on November 20, the day prior to album's release. The same day, Beyoncé held a screening of the film at the Paris Theatre in New York City, which was attended by fans. Live at Roseland, Elements of Four received positive response from music critics who praised Beyoncé's live performances during the review of the album's documentary style and the intimate footage from Beyoncé's personal life. The album was also included on several year-end lists of best DVD of 2011. Upon its release, the album charted on several international charts, topping the Dutch Music DVD chart and peaking at number two on the U.S. Top Music Videos, charting within the top ten in almost every European country upon its release. The standard edition of the album was certified gold, and the deluxe edition was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America, RIAA. It was also certified platinum by the Australian Recording Industry Association area and gold by the Polish Society of the Phonographic Industry, ZPAV. Background and Development Live at Roseland, Elements of Four was directed by Beyoncé, Ed Burke and Anthony Green and was executively produced by Beyoncé. The film features performances from Beyoncé's Four Intimate Nights with Beyoncé Review, which was held at the Roseland Ballroom in New York City in August 2011. The concert was held on four non-consecutive nights, where Beyoncé performed songs from her fourth studio album for 2011, as well as her previous hits in prior albums, and with former girl group Destiny's Child. Backed by her all-female band, the performances included stories detailing Beyoncé's journey before the album for, including her years before, and with Destiny's Child. Live at Roseland, Elements of Four also includes never-before-seen personal footage from Beyoncé, including her times with Destiny's Child, traveling and partying with family Beyoncé's rehearsal of One Plus One backstage at American Idol, which was filmed by her husband Jay-Z other live performances, and a sneak peek at Beyoncé's Some of the behind-the-scenes footage in the album was previously placed on Beyoncé's live album I'm Yours, an intimate performance at Win Las Vegas 2009. Release The standard edition of the album, titled Live at Roseland, was released exclusively through Walmart in the United States on November 21, 2011. The deluxe edition, titled Live at Roseland, Elements of Four, was released as a two-disc DVD on November 25, 2011, featuring the complete concert, bonus offstage footage, a 20-page booklet, and a video anthology featuring seven music videos from Four. It includes videos for One Plus One, Best Thing I Never Had, Party Love on Top, Countdown, Run the World Girls and Dance for You. Beyoncé partnered with Trima Labs to create the Beyoncé Live at Roseland app, which was made available on January 5, 2012 for iPhones and iPads. The app features the entire concert and photo gallery of the performances during the four intimate nights with Beyoncé Review, as well as the bonus contents behind the stage from the Roseland Ballroom and a behind the camera from Beyoncé. On March 22, 2012, Live at Roseland, Elements of Four was made available worldwide. 
promotion. In September 2011, Beyoncé posted several previews of the behind-the-scenes footage of the concert online. On November 7, 2011, Sony Music held two screenings of the film at their New York City offices in presence of staff from Rolling Stone magazine, Essence Reuters, Billboard, British journalist Piers Morgan, Angel Laws of Concrete Loop, and Kierna Mayo of Ebony. A one-minute promo trailer of Live at Roseland, Elements of Four was released online on November 9, 2011. The live performances for End of Time and I Was Here, which were added on the DVD, premiered online on November 16, 2011. The performances for I Miss You and Independent Women Part I premiered online the next day via BTCom. The complete concert film premiered exclusively on Vivo on November 20 at 5, 0 p.m. The same day, Beyoncé held a screening of the film at the Paris Theater in New York City, which was attended by fans. On November 16 and 17, 2011 respectively, Wrap Up and The Village Voice collaborated with Columbia Records and organized a contest on their official website where six readers of the magazines could win tickets for the screening of the film. At the screening, Knowles talked about her four intimate nights with Beyoncé review with the Associated Press, saying, The whole time I definitely was thinking. Everyone knows, everyone can see. I just wanted to give everything I could. When you're pregnant, it's a little bit harder to breathe, so it was hard doing all the choreography and singing at the same time. I just got my strength from all the love from the fans. I can see all of my super fans in the audience when I'm performing. She further explained the inclusion of videos in the DVD, stating, I've always done video diaries. I don't tweet, but it's still important people get a sense of who I am. The seventh music video from the video anthology Dance For You premiered online on November 25, 2011. The live performance of I Care from the DVD was posted online on December 21, 2011. As part of the promotion, the concert was also aired on network televisions, being broadcast on December 25, 2011 on British television Channel 4 Music and on December 30 on Channel 4. The live video for Love on Top premiered online in January 2012 and was released on the iTunes Store on January 11, 2012. Film Synopsis The show begins with Beyoncé stating, this is going to be a little different, y'all. It'll be more intimate before she begins revealing multiple stories from her musical history, including before auditions with Destiny's child starting at the age of nine, her father's early and frequent involvement managing his daughter's career, and getting dropped by Elektra Records. After delving into her musical history, Beyoncé says, I just want to have a good time with y'all before beginning the review's set list with her rendition of Michael Jackson's I Wanna Be Where You Are 1972. Following her rendition of I Wanna Be Where You Are, Beyoncé begins a medley of past Destiny's child hits, stopping each track to discuss her life and mindset during each stage of her career. During her performance of Independent Women, she reveals how her father, Matthew Knowles, submitted the track to the Charlie's Angels soundtrack 2000 without permission, revealing that she wanted to write a song that celebrates a woman's curves inspired by Stevie Nicks guitar riff in Edge of 17, 1982, for Bootalicious and states, with a lot of success comes on. After Three Bonnie and Clyde, the final song in the medley, Beyoncé began to tell the story of how her first album came to be, stating the label told me I didn't have one hit song on my album. I guess they were kinda right. I had five. Beyoncé then continued with a slowed-down, jazzier version of Crazy in Love, allowing the orchestra to augment rather than transform the tracks. During Irreplaceable, Beyoncé has the crowd assist her in her performance. After stating on April 4, 2008, somebody put a ring on it, Beyoncé has the audience, which contained both men and women ranging from ages 8 to 38, flip their hands to the Billboard Hot 100 number one hit single Ladies Put a Ring on It. Beyoncé then begins to perform virtually all of four, starting with One Plus One, 
where she is found kneeling atop a piano wrapped up in smoke and red-hued lights, reminiscent to her performance on the American Idol season 10 finale. Fayance then continues down the original track listing of four, following one plus one with a rendition of I Care, where she whipped her hair to the brooding brass and ominous beat of the song, while bringing the song to life with immaculate vocals. I Miss You begins with Beyoncé performing while seated, only to later be brought to her feet while altering the song's ending with additional vocals and instrumentation. Best Thing I Never Had follows afterwards, with a slight alteration in the song's melody. Beyoncé then slow winds to party as the crowd swayed their arms back and forth and stretched out the Y to every other verse. Beyoncé then began harmonizing with the backup singers for Rather Die Young, before following a heavily choreographed version of Love on Top, which gave the song an up-tempo overhaul. Beyoncé would begin the countdown of Countdown later, allowing the audience to finish the countdown from 9 to 1. End of time and run the world girls had Beyoncé using flamboyant light displays bringing elaborate routines to a smaller stage. The show ends with the last song, the self-empowering ballad I Was Here, with Beyoncé rephrasing the song's final chorus, to say, Rosalind, we were here. Critical reception. Live at Rosalind, Elements of Four received positive reviews by music critics who praised the performances of the songs, Beyoncé's vocal abilities, and its documentary style. Nate Chinin of the New York Times compared the DVD with the album Live at the Royal Albert Hall 2011 by British singer Adele, which was also released on November 25, 2011. He noted that the albums share some intriguing affinities, commenting, Naturally there is the valorization of powerful, agile singing, there are explicit expressions of gratitude, amid an implicit air of conquest, pointedly. Two, there is the suggestion of performance as testimony, the set list as personal narrative. In both cases the theme of female self However, Chien commented that live at Rosalind, Elements of Four makes an airtight spectacle out of movement. USA Today's Elisa Gardner mentioned the DVD along with Adele's Live at the Royal Albert Hall as the leading DVD for December 2011. Kent George of V. Home gave a positive review for the album, describing the scenes as moving, inspirational, and infectious while also calling them immaculately produced. She further wrote that tight and succinct, there's no filler in the Live at Rosalind DVD, it's high energy from the beginning to the end, and doesn't give you a chance to lag or lose interest. George went on to describe the album as intimate, which according to her gives the magic of Beyoncé even when she's speaking to the masses. She's really speaking to you, and you alone. She finished her review saying that the album gives a personal evening, with Beyoncé along with absolute grace and ultimate humility. Jean-Pierre Regis of MTV described the album as a glitzy doc-style flick and noted that Beyoncé shows her softer side while also calling her a gift that keeps on giving. Entertainment Weekly's Melissa Mayers wrote that according to DVD Live at Rosalind Elements of Four, which finds Beyoncé telling her life story through her songs, which she has done a whole lot of amazing things in her life. Andrew Martin of Prefix Magazine noted, it's live at Rosalind, elements of four being called her most personal work to date. Writing for the rap, Chris Willman compared the album with the American documentary show This Is Your Life. Willman also commented that the album was highly impressive and almost all a little annoying if solipsism isn't your thing and that even at her most egotistical, she's Beyonce strangely never less than utterly likable. She might actually be the world's most good-natured megalomania. He also called Beyoncé fairly glorious and noted that the live versions of the four material are more invigorating than the studio equivalents, with Beyoncé's eight-piece all-female band making everything sound like the great cross-pollination of contemporary urban and 70s soul you'd hoped for. Praising Beyoncé's animal magnetism during the performances of the songs, Simon Gage of Daily Express said that Beyoncé shines when it comes to performing. Chuck Arnold of People magazine commented that the songs from Four Sound even better performed on the live album. Daryl Sturden of the website Jam said in his review, with her usual blend of divitastic majesty, girl-next-door intimacy, 
and boundless energy bands, rewinds her career, and performs her latest CD at a NYC ballroom. Accolades A writer of the Boston Globe put the album on the list of best DVD for gifting this season for 2011, saying, for better or worse, Beyoncé's videos for her latest album, four, have been buzzed about this year, and the double disc deluxe edition gathers them all on one DVD. The writers of Billboard also put the album on their list of best documentary and live DVD for gifting in 2011. The writers commented that the DVD was a chance to experience her recent sold out concerts with a virtual front row courtesy. They further added that it contained the best of her four night stand. Sasha Freer Jones of The New Yorker mentioned the album on his list of the best music of 2011. The American singers praising the tightly corralled ecstasies of the review further commenting, It was thrilling to watch the album, not because the show was unusually clever, Beyonce was simply born to be on stage, wear shiny clothes, and work a room, but because Beyonce means it, it wants it. He added, and this vision does seem to be hers, as it's too idiosyncratic a mesh of tastes and textures to reflect some timid PR. The live video of I Was Here from Live at Roseland, Elements of Four received a nomination at the 43rd Knock Image Awards presented on February 17, 2012, in the category for Outstanding Music Video. Commercial Performance Live at Roseland Elements of Four debuted at number three on the U.S. Top Music Videos on December 10, 2011. The following week it climbed to number two, which also became its peak position, behind Adele's Live at the Royal Albert Hall 2011. It further spent various weeks on the chart. The standard edition of the album was certified gold, while the deluxe edition was certified platinum by the Recording Industry Association of America RIAA. It became the second best-selling DVD of 2011 in the United States, and the third in 2012. In the United Kingdom, the album debuted at number 8 on the UK Music Videos on December 7, 2011. In Australia, the album peaked at number 3 on the Australian. It was certified platinum by the Australian Recording Industry Association area for selling over 15,000 copies. In Poland, the album was certified gold by the Polish Society of the Phonographic Industry Zipath. On the German music DVD chart, Live at Roseland, Live at Roseland, Elements of Four debuted at number four on the Dutch DVD chart on December 3, 2012. On February 11, 2012, in its 11th week on the chart, the album reached number one. It became the 23rd and 11th best selling album in the country in 2011 and 2012, respectively. On the Oricon DVD chart in Japan, the album peaked at number 62 on January 1, 2012. It became the second best-selling music DVD of 2011 in the world. Track Listing Personnel Personnel Credits adapted from album's liner notes Charts Certifications Release History